I love seeing things click in my son's head. It's taken the better part of the last nine years to master the art of catching this elusive microscopic moment. The instant he realized where hamburgers and his little sister came from have been among the most enjoyable. Third grade has taught Hudson a lot about the roots of our country. So when a business trip sent me to DC recently, I thought it was the perfect opportunity for a father-son trip and for me to watch all the little dots connect in his head about what he'd been learning in school. We saw where the very first president lived. We came all the way out here for this. And we saw where the president lives today. My son taught me what he'd learned in school about the men who framed our country. And I taught my son about the men and women who are still shaping our country today. And that's why the legislative branch is broken into two different sections. Yeah, but why do they argue so much? We walked in the footsteps of countless men and women who stood up for their rights. And we sat at the feet of the great emancipator, who to this day still sits vigilant over all of our rights. He's a lot bigger in person. Uh-huh. I've been looking for those clicks, those aha moments. But my son surprised me. He had it all pretty well figured out but we still had one place left to visit. What are these, Dad? These are our heroes, son. What kind of heroes? These are the heroes that made possible everything you and I saw today. These are American heroes, son. Is that a hero, Dad? Click. Yeah, that's a hero. Can we go get pizza now? Those moments never last as long as a father would like. And today I pray that families of these fallen can somehow feel the goodness of God amidst their loss. Come on, Dad, I've been waiting forever. Okay, let's go. It is because of the sacrifices of our heroes that I have the freedom to experience moments like this. So to all the men, women, and families of those who served in the armed forces, thank you for your sacrifice. You will never be forgotten.